PMP, what it is? Your boy Bink, Virginia. No folk, one shot there holding it down. Everybody know me for mainly the Jay Z stuff, you know, Dynasty album. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this is my custom MP. Shout out to uh, Bruce Ferrat out in Cali. You know, he did this for me probably like in 99, 2000. You know what I'm saying? I had, this was the black MP right here, actually, the limited edition, and I had it tricked out. Uh, this is what got me in the game right here. This is where it all started right here. The ASR 10. Damn near every producer from Virginia started on the ASR 10. And that's me, myself, me, myself Pharrell, Knox, and Timberland. We all started with, it, with the ASR 10. It's one of the illest joints that you know I ever had. So I did all that, my, like my first like Lost Boy stuff up here. I did um, the Black Street Reggae. I did a uh, don't leave with Teddy, you know what I'm saying, back in the day. And, you know, when he heard it, I had done it up here, but then we ended up redoing everything at his spot. You know? He's an OG. So, you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta bow down and humble yourself and, and play your position. And, and, and you know, if I wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't be here today. So that's a lot of young cats, but, you know, need to learn because you feel like you're big headed and you know it already and you don't wanna, you know, conform to somebody else's thing. But when it's, when it's his ball and his bat, if you're trying to play ball, you gotta play the game. So you play the game, play position, you can branch off, do your own thing later. But Rizzo is the one that turned myself, Kanye, and everybody else on the soul sound. So I know somebody said that it was Kanye, but it wasn't Kanye, it was Rizzo. You know what I'm saying? He's the one that was like, yo, over here, look in this stash. Like, we was all, you know, cute, like, uh, Tri Call Quest was straight jazz records. Everybody was sampling jazz records, like, constantly. Then it went from jazz records to orchestra records, like the big symphony sound of the joint. People started sampling those. But then when RZA came out with the 36 channel, it was just like, what the hell is this? We were influenced a lot by New York cats. So a lot of the other stuff we didn't hear. But because of that, then we got DC, we got the go-go thing over here. You know what I'm saying? And then we got a serious reggae following down there too. So you're getting exposed to all these different types of rhythms and, and, and sounds and you, you can't help but mesh all that together and, and do what you're doing. That's why when you when you hear us, we, we don't sound like you know anybody else. And you, you can tell our signature, and it's mainly in the drums for all of us. With Knox, Pharrell, Timberland, Danger Hands, you know what I'm saying, everybody. So that's what I think, you know, we breed producers. You must be cut from a golden cloth. Parents getting old. Time, you don't even know that you can't get the sample clear until it's at the end of the day and everybody love the record already you know what I'm saying so you get pretty much attached to it but at the same time sometimes that sample is just so crazy that you don't care if you don't get no parts on it because it's, it's making people it's getting that attention that you're looking for so okay you know I give them that hundred percent 75 percent full rate on that record and don't eat a dime off it but it's opening up a door for me to get money. Well, sometimes it's worth sampling, but sometimes people just sample records and it's just like, why not just play that over a flipping chord and keep it moving? Because the sample ain't crazy like that. You know what I'm saying? But so, you know, it's definitely worth you know, not getting published on certain records if it's gonna create other opportunities for you down the road. So you gotta look at it like that. At one time, people thought it wasn't hip hop if it ain't come from a dirty basement with a you know a mono sample in it with the crackle on the record. Like that ain't true. Like everybody has their own rendition of hip hop. 
whether they're Soldier Boy or whoever, they all been touched with their hip hop bug, and this is how they are expressing themselves in the, in, a, in their way and where they from. So I don't I don't hate on nobody for what they do, but I don't have to like it at the same time. But at the same time, I respect what they doing. You know what I'm saying? It may not be good for me, but it's obviously an audience for it because they get money. I love what PNP is doing too, man. Like I said, it's giving people a chance to to uh, to be heard by some people that they probably wouldn't normally be able to get a meeting with. You know what I'm saying? And because of this website, you know, they can actually check for you and give you an opportunity to get your stuff out there. PNP, your boy Bink, give you something to roll with. Everybody stay up, keep chopping, keep doing your joints. I'm coming at your neck.